Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so we are going to be dealing with a crank no start situation and this is a fuel system a fuel system issue. Well, basically it could be a fuel system issue, but we're going to go through all the diagnostics, troubleshooting as far as this situation is concerned all right so if you guys get a crank no start situation um it could be a bunch of different things that could cause the issue all right so basically if you have this problem um what you want to do is you want to figure out whether there's uh, any kind of fuel pressure you really want to figure out whether um, whether the fuel pump is working or not first of all all right so in this car what you're gonna do is gonna lift, lift the back seat up if you have another person there you could have that other person in the back trying to listen to see if there's any kind of motorized buzzing sound when you turn the key to the on position just before the crank position if you hear a buzzing sound or, or a motorized sound uh, chances are not chances are but it, there's a good ch your 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 fuel pump is working i'm gonna say uh chances are but yeah your fuel pump is working at that point you know that the fuel pump is working and it's sending uh, it's pumping out fuel for the most part like 99% of the time all right that's the fuel pump working if you hear that sound now you could actually do it uh, with just you having that back seat lifted up because it's not a big car and uh, turn it to the on position you could hear it it's a buzzing motorized sound all right that means that the fuel pump is working the fuel pump is not the issue um, that also means that the fuel pump relay is not the issue. So you can rule the relay out. You can rule the fuel pump out. Now, uh, the fuel goes through a fuel filter. All right. That could be if, if there's a blocked fuel filter that could cause that issue. However, it's, it, it's very rare that the fuel filter is so clogged that uh, it would cause to the point where it would, it would just cause a crank no start situation. In most cases, what happens is the fuel filter is kind of clogged. Uh, you would be able to get the car started and then it'll die out immediately or it'll die out, it'll die out a couple of seconds later. It's a, it's a rare case where the fuel filter is so clogged that when you try to turn the car on, all it does is crank and the fuel filter um, is the issue. All right, but you might want to check that anyway, just to make sure that that's not the issue uh, with your uh, crank no start uh, scenario. Now, if you guys want to figure out whether there's gonna, any kind of fuel pressure, I, I know there's... Uh, you know, you take it to the shop. They're going to do these, uh, you know, fuel pressure tests with fuel pressure gauges. It's a rare occasion where low fuel pressure. Um, I mean, if you're getting gas, if you're getting any kind of gas going through the system, you know, you won't just get a crank no start. What you're going to do is you, what's going to happen is you're going to get a crank. It's going to start and then it'll die out. All right, and at that point, you can figure out whether um, it's the fuel pressure or it's something else. But but for the most part, most mechanics really don't need that fuel press pressure test to try to test out um, that problem. All right, so at, with the whole troubleshooting, with the troubleshooting of this particular scenario, uh, you know, if you if you if the fuel pump works, you can rule that out. You can rule out the fuel pump relay. You can rule out 
um, you can you can kind of rule out the the uh, fuel filter. You you can kind of rule out the fuel filter for the most part. Now it could be also it could be possibly uh, a fuse that's not uh, that's not connected to the fuel pump but it could be maybe like the car's computers fuse the ECM fuse there's cases where obviously cases where obviously if the uh, fuse to the ECM what you want to do in these situations is you would want to test out all the fuses to make sure that all the fuses are good all right because um, a lot of these newer cars these days the modern cars um, a lot of different systems are connected to other systems and if you have one system of a fuse of a blown fuse it can affect other systems that would cause the crank no start issue so in this situation you want to test out all the fuses because I've seen situations where if the ECM if the fuse to the car's computer um, ha you know was blown you would get a, a crank no start issue you would get a crank no start issue that would that, that would definitely cause it and the only way you can find that out there's a couple ways you can find that out okay chances are if you have an obd2 scanner you can plug it in see if it scans all the way through if it does not scan all the way through then obviously there is a disconnect between the car's computer and the car itself but um but if if you figure it's a blown fuse you can actually have a fuse tester to test it out uh, you know, test it out to make sure that it's um, not a blown fuse. And that's probably another easy way to test that out. Now, here's the other thing that would cause a crank no start situation. And um, it's not exactly fuel, it's not fuel related at all. What it is, is your fob key battery. All right, your fob key battery. If your fob key battery is low, or it's dead and the car is not detecting the the the, the fob key at all um, you're gonna have for the most part a crank no start situation it'll crank but it will not start up all right and a, a lot of people actually miss that they'll go and diagnose everything but the, they won't uh, you know, it, it, it's not apparent to them that the fob key battery would cause uh, this situation. So, if you have this situation, um, probably the first step is to s make sure that your your fob key, uh, that the battery on your remote actually is um, is working or, or is good probably should just go to like a, a CVS or Walgreens or a Rite Aid or whatever and swap out the battery. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times, um, a lot of people will go and, and, and try to diagnose everything. And, and you can spend hours trying to figure, you know, this whole situation out and everything else works. Like they figure out they're getting fuel you know, up front, you could actually take out one of the, 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 the fuel hoses and they're getting fuel, you're getting fuel, you're getting the, the, the fuel pump actually, actually, um, obviously works because you're getting fuel. The, uh, the, uh, relay to the fuel pump obviously is good. The, the, the filter to the fuel pump is actually good. All the fuses has been tested out. You know all the relays are good and and you're still scratching your head like what what's the issue what's the issue and a lot of times the most simplest thing that you could look at at the very beginning to save you all that time is the is the one thing that people um that people just don't you know it's not it's not it's not that first thing they look at all right, so that fob key battery or the fob key itself could have issues. You know, maybe the battery is good, but the fob key itself has issues. And for whatever reason, your car's computer is not reading your cards. The um, uh, the the fob key itself, and 
you get this situation where it cranks and it won't start because uh, it'll just keep uh, the computer will just keep the car from starting up it won't keep it from cranking it'll keep it from turning over and 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 starting so if you guys have this situation um where you have a crank no start situation and you think it's fuel related um if if you think that if you've gone through all the troubleshooting steps as far as you know figuring out that the fuel pump works the fuel filter is good you're getting fuel through the system um you know it's probably uh it could be as simple as the uh the fob key battery now obviously if you're not getting any kind of fuel pressure if you're not getting fuel pressure it could be uh one of those things that i mentioned the the fuel pump or the fuel pump relay that's keeping the fuel pump from 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 working but i mean if you've done this long enough the whole troubleshooting process as far as that's concerned is pretty much rudimentary but if, you, if you're new to this and you're trying to figure out you know what are the stages as far as the fuel system is concerned and why it's causing your crank no start situation etc etc you know uh i hope this video has helped you guys out all right um you know if you guys want to leave your comment in the comments section of your own personal experiences as far as this is concerned definitely leave uh, your comment in the comment section um, please give me a thumbs up please subscribe hope you uh, figure out hope this video has helped you guys figure it out um, what your problem is what your car's issue is and, and uh, get you guys back on the road alright guys take care